Hi there, Uncle Laurie here, back with another shave. Today is Sunday. Sunday the, uh, what is it, 22nd of uh, January? And we're doing a Sunday shave, <laughs> of course. What are we using? We're going with um, a moon soap. Warmest regards. This is a, a lovely, oh, warm scent. It's, it's implied by the name, I suppose. Uh, amber, tonka, bean, oud, rum, and musk. Oh, yes, lovely. Probably more of a winter scent, but oh, it doesn't matter to me. I, I'll use my scents any time of the year. And uh, the right, uh, no, the brush we go with next. This is a homegrown brush. In other words, I set the knot myself, and the handle comes from Hushua from China. It's called Lava, and in there I've got a 24 mil uh, AP Shave AP Luxury Fan. Mixed badger and boar knot. <laughs> so it's got badger and boar hairs in that knot. Two band badger and boar knot. Now, it still smells a little bit like an animal, uh, and it's not too bad. So we'll stick that in the um, bowl to soak. I've had it soaking before, so we'll, uh, I've given it about six lathers to clean it, test lathers to clean it up and that's to get rid of the, the animal dirt that you normally have in a, a straight um, badger or, or not that hasn't been pre-cleaned. Um, what else are we going with? We, we're staying with the um, Vikings blade uh, Chieftain Junior with the Dorco Prime HQ blade in there on its third use. Yes, right. I had a shave yesterday, so I've only got one day's growth. So I'm doing um, virtually a daily shave at the moment. This is a bit of a trial of whether I can do a daily shave. Hopefully, I can use more soaps up then. Um, let's oh, the bowl we're using. We're going with fine accoutrements bowl, uh, blue one. That's my lathering bowl. And that's it, yes. So we'll go across there and produce the lather, and we'll come back and do the shave.
right, we're back from making that leather. Already got my pre-shave on. And last shave with the Lucky Tiger. Liquid shave cream is my pre-shave. It's getting hard to get this stuff out now. So, I've got this lovely, rich looking leather. Lovely scent. too much on my brush. Let's take some off. I can always put a bit more on. So this knot is very new. Needs a bit of raking in. I'm going to use it all week just to see if we can get a little more breaking. Just slightly scratchy at the moment. But I think it's going to be a lovely knot. Once those Or here's split and the badger hair is soften up. Bit of alum on my fingers because I have slippery fingers. Although there's really good knot and nailing on this razor. This scent of the soap reminds me of another one I used to have from Hub City. It was called uh, Egyptus, uh, Egyptus, yeah, Egyptus. That's the name. Got a similar vibe to it. Amber Tonka Bean. Why? Right. I would call it a mid strength. Maybe a bit under. It's not um, that strong. It's a lovely scent though. I really like this one. And performance wise, leather is wonderful, rich. Not a highly dense leather, at medium density. I'll just leave the um, ingredient list and scent profile here of the Moon Soap. Warmest regards. Switching it up. It's a bit more, a bit more on. So I used um, a level half teaspoon of soap, which makes enough leather for probably two shaves. <laughs> the grain. This razor has some um, laid overhang to be aware of. It's 
quite a mild razor. Maybe around 34C or a bit milder. I get a little bit of blade feel from it. I'm really enjoying these Horco Prime blades though. I think uh, this is the fifth razor I've had it in. And, and it does well. Smooth, mild blade, not um, overly sharp, but I don't get any tugging from it. So, a good blade. Worth a try. They're not very expensive apparently. I can't remember, I think I paid $15 a strand for a hundred pack. Lovely soap, look at the easy richness I get from the leather. Mm. This brush is a bit of a leather monster. I've been using these cheaper handles to try out different um, knots. So you'll see a few of them come up because I'm going to try some knots. And I do like AP shave knots. Uh, I've got quite a few of them. I've got some of their cashmeres. Slow there and pick something. No, it looks all right. Yep, looks right. Some nice residual there. It's what you expect from. Quality of moon soaps. They do um, render their own tallow because um, the owner is a butcher. I've forgotten his name now. But anyway, he's a butcher.
Now I did see, I did nick it. So good here. Just a little one, it'll be fine. Normally I have a lot of leather left over, but that brush sort of just eats up. give that a 4 out of 10 on scent strength it's just below medium it's a lovely scent though Uh, lucky 
tired of vanishing cream. Too much. on the head as well. Wonderful. Put some on the elbows. And the final ingredient. A bit of old spice. Classic. It's a nice warm spicy scent to finish off with. Don't get a lot of steam because they've got that balm on already. Oh, lovely. All right, that's my shave today. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you on my next one. Cheers.